So I'm here today with Tim at the 48th National Van Rally in Albert Lee, Minnesota. And Tim has had his van since high school. Yep, January of 1977. All right, and tell me about your van. Like It is a 1977 uh -huh. Dodge B200 factory street van. It has a 360 engine, automatic transmission. Mm -hmm. um, I bought it stock and then started working on it in high school. And Did you buy the van brand new? I did, yeah. Wow, and you've yeah. had it all these years. <clears throat> yeah. I'm sure you've customized it over the years. Can you tell me some of the things you've done to it? Uh, yeah, I started out, um, let's say it was just a stock street van. I started out with the uh, windows and the wing, the, the sapphire windows in the back and the wing. And then I did the first interior, and then I took that interior out, did another one. Then I started working on the outside. I put on the imaginary glass fenders and molded them in. I had to custom make these running boards and, and just start adding the bolt on. So. All right. And then I designed the paint job to kind of work with the wing and the windows. It was a process. It was my daily driver, but at school and I worked a lot. I was working 60 hours a week mm -hmm. when I was still in high school. so. It was a it was a slow process. And yeah. Eventually, I had it painted. and did this interior. Life comes along, and it got stuck in a garage and sat on blocks for 30 years. And what? and I just did whatever. And yeah. Then life changed uh, about 10 years ago, and um, I almost sold it. And I was got talked into saving it by a couple buddies um, with vans and uh, really dodged a bullet there. I yeah, almost sold it when I was young. Uh, my parents were very supportive of the whole project, even when I was uh -huh. young. They just, they loved that I like working on it and I, I like doing that kind of stuff. And um, so I, I had it sold and I don't know when it was, it's 80, 81, something like that. And uh, we lived out in the country. I grew up on a farm and my mom would always stand in the window and wave and I was leaving the van and my mom standing in the window crying and <clears throat> I couldn't do it. Aww. I couldn't do it. I turned around, went back in the house, called the guy, I said, man, I said, I'm sorry, but I can't, I just can't sell it. And uh, so it was saved then. So what is that on the dash up there? Uh, that little teddy bear still has uh, my high school girlfriend's garter from prom. <laughs> <laughs> If this van could talk, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's, I've had a lot of fun with it. I've been a lot of places and used to do a lot of van events. Love it. So it's, it's still there. Pretty much everything on the van uh, is the way it was 40 years ago. There's one exception. Okay. I actually locked the doors, but there's a little smiley face ball on the on the drink tray that I made in high school okay. that my little buddy Hunter, who's six years old, gave to me this week when I left to come out here and he said that's to keep me company. Aww. So, But I don't want to mess with it. It's, it's just the way it was. So I started looking for a trailer and bought that last year and it was in pretty rough shape. So yep. I, I gutted it and redid the interior and obviously made it to match the van and now I stay in the trailer not in the van. Can you remind me how long the van sat in a garage? Like it sat in a garage for years, right? <clears throat> 30 years. It yeah, sat in a garage roughly, for 30 yeah. years and yeah. then you just fixed it up and got it back out on the road again. Yeah, yeah. I had to I get it out it. and I had to had to get the engine running. Like say a, a buddy I met through vanner.com uh, lived close to me and he came and helped me get it started. Mm -hmm. And um, so it kind of... Look at those shitheads. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? We're doing <laughs> turd busting. Look at this thing in here. I didn't realize it had the Lambo door on it. <gasps> it's gorgeous. Pretty much everything in here has also been in here for... Oh my god. That time, I but love it. Brought the van back here, and now I'm going to get back into vanning. And well, it's a good little community. Reconnect, I find. yeah, reconnect yeah. with the vanning community. Yeah. And so I see Tim's bar in there. I see a little magic mushroom action yep. going on there. <laughs> 
I love those van stickers that say shag carpet changed my life. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> a lot of meanings to that, that's for sure. I'm but, sure of it. Like, I'm loving this. And I love yes. even like, get the pinstriping here, like on the inside of the doors. Do you ever finish? Like, is it ever really told? This one is. Okay, yeah, I, I, I won't mess with it. That's, that's why I built the trailer, because I love doing this stuff. Yeah. But I won't, I mean, this has been this way since I built it, and so I won't mess with it. You Got know, it. I'm, I'm fixing things up. You know, I had the engine rebuilt and, and mechanical stuff, and, and there's a few little quirky things. I mean, I, I put electric windows in it way back when, and those motors don't work, so. Okay. I have to fix stuff like that, and, and uh, there's, there's little things here and there that need but <clears throat> cosmetically, I'm going to leave it just like it is. All right. It's a time capsule. She is absolutely a time capsule. So I'm just pretty thankful I still have it. I'm thankful you still have it, too. It's been, yep. been fun. This is because the last Nationals I did, well, I did the 46th. Uh -huh. But before that, the last Nationals I did was the 10th. So there's a little time between Nationals there. A little bit. Yeah. Thank you again for sharing your story with me and I appreciate you sharing your van. You're welcome. Thank you for taking the time. Bye.